I am Nikki Phoenix, and we are Jackal, Jackal Phoenix. Phoenix. I'm Chip B, Godfather of house music. Oh, so meeting Jackal Phoenix, man. Oh, I can remember where I was when I met Jackal Phoenix. I was, um, I was at home, and I was actually texting with a good friend of mine, and we were basically uh, we're talking about stuff, stuff that's important to us, because like we're both we both have uh, a lot of the same passions, um, passions. Uh, first of all, for being good citizens, and uh, you know uh, we appreciate our country, and we're talking about stuff that had nothing to do with that. We're going back to life experiences, you know. He's like, uh, I'm a photographer, and I'm like, I, I did photography, I do video, I'm do I do video, I did some music stuff. I'm like, oh, I did some music stuff. He's like, and I still do some music stuff, and I'm going like. Oh, what kind of music stuff do you do? He's like, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm managing this band, you know, it's uh, this stuff, you know, it's called EDM. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. And I'm going like, um, <laughs> well, actually, um, I have a little history in electronic dance music. So when he uh, heard that, he told me more about this group, um, Jacko Phoenix. And I'm going like, well, let me hear this stuff. And that's when, you know, I, they, they, I don't know, he convinced them out of they, they have to like ring you around the neck, oh! you know, or, or he probably, you know, he knows you stroke your hair. But somehow he was able to convince them, you know, to um, let me hear some of their stuff. And I heard it and I was like, this is all right. I was like, it's better than all right. It's like, it's really good. And um, so myself and my partner, um, Liddell Townsell, we started uh, working on some remix of their stuff. And then, you know, we said, hey, they kind of, they're kind of edgy, you know. Let's send them some of our stuff, and so we sent the stuff to them, and then, boom. That's when you're supposed to say something. <laughs> no, it went exactly like that, you know. Around that time, I was really educating myself on uh, founders of house music, some of the greats such as Frankie Knuckles, and when I heard the name Chippy, e, I was so excited, you know, that we had that great opportunity to collaborate and go into some music together. I'm just so thankful when he, we were on the phone together and he's like, yo, I like your stuff. And I was like, well, I like your stuff too. Let's do some stuff, you know? And it really came natural, it wasn't forced. It's kind of like when you go into the studio or if you go into a room with a girl, you guys can't just make a baby. There has to be chemistry there. So when we went into the studio, it was really natural. Nothing was forced. Well, I remember I was on the road actually um, coming back from Chicago, I'm pretty sure. And what? I got the call from our manager and you know, I have grown up with electronic music since I was, I think I was like 14, was my first rave. And you know, I love Infected Mushroom and Tiesto, DJ Tiesto actually was what I knew him as. And uh, I even heard some of your stuff. And I just was like, oh my gosh, really? Chippy wants to work with us? Really? Oh, that's pretty fucking sweet. So, you know, it just kind of happened and sent over, uh, you know, his song, Patience. And uh, you know, Jackal and I started working on it. I'm really excited to you know get that finished and lay my own flair of vocals because I don't really have a more I don't have a Chicago style vocals I got a little bit different classically trained in opera so you know it's kind of like a little it, bit and different it shows, it shows. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, and that's why I want you know I want I want you know as I, as we work together you know don't try to do you know our I, I like what you guys bring to the table and I want you to keep it there and that's what and the, the classical opera trade really really shows because you got she has an incredible range. If you haven't heard any of this, thought incredible range. Just <laughs> stop it. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Yeah, you could you could tell she's shy, right? Everybody's like, uh, shy. This is what shy looks like now. It's the new shy. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, hanging out is the new shy. You know. Oh no. my god. <laughs> <laughs> so I've seen some footage of the Jackal Phoenix. Some clips and footage of the Jackal Phoenix show. And they've got these aerials and these. I mean, like it's like it's like Cirque du Soleil on steroids. <laughs> you know, yes. it's like it's like what they want it to be. You know, but plus there's the funky music going on. It's like, man, and I see that stuff. You know, and, and I was I was asked like, you know, well, do you see yourself maybe being part of this? I'm like, no, my insurance doesn't cover that. See, I'm old. I can't do that stuff. No, I will I will I will be on the background. I will be maybe on keyboards or something. But no, no, um, no, no. You're not getting me on the tightrope. No, no, no. No, what? I was gonna say, but that's perfect because you know. Jackal and I are very into, you know, we want live music. He plays actually plays the guitar very well. All the almost all the guitar parts you hear in a lot of our songs is Jackal. Um, and you know, and I like to sing live. You know, we will put a little bit of background vocals, but they're usually the vocals that we took from the studio, the untouched and kind of layer them in there quietly just to kind of fatten up my voice just, you know, cuz the voice is kind of 
stale and you can't really do, add a lot of effects while you're singing live so to have a little bit of fat vocals in the background um, you know and then the circus is just a, you know electronic music is kind of crazy and it's artsy and fun and dancey and the circus is fun and dancey and you know it's 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 art and so you know us being on stage together and you could play the keyboards or the drums or whatever you want just it's just, you know right. live music is where it's going and you know who says that you can't do live music with electronic music because you certainly can as long as long as I'm because I might look as young as this guy but you know I'm really a little bit older you know I got a couple years on it so it's like I just I can't I can't take the same types of uh, you know uh, risk that, that he can you know <laughs> He doesn't get up in the air. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, he lives in the air. He lives in the air. How tall are you? Like eight feet tall? Yeah. He's like, this is you know, true. You yeah. have a good point. Yeah, he just he just lives up there. It's like, I mean, you know, it's like the air is differently. You know, it's like, ah, uh, it's kind of thin up here. You know, um. <laughs> I think that we can expect something fairly soon coming out. You know, we want to work on something as fast as possible. We can't really rush it. You know, you can't really rush music. So whenever the creative energy starts moving, we can move forward with the song, and I don't think that's gonna be the only track. I think we've got lots of stuff ahead of us for the future. Good things take time. Yeah. Well, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at I am Nikki Phoenix, as well as Jackald Phoenix, J-A-C-K-E-L-D-P-H-O-E-N-I-X. What about yourself, Jack? Find me on Twitter and Instagram, and all of them at Official Jackal, and as well as Jackal Phoenix. Yeah, and um, you can always look for Chip E on Facebook, Twitter, xvideos. Um, mostly <laughs> Facebook and Twitter. <laughs>